After a league worst 10 and 72 record, the Sixers finally got some news, landing the number one pick in the NBA draft at last night's lottery. Dikembe Mutombo with the spoiler alert, though, tweeting out to the Sixers hours before they won the lottery and uh, basically breaking the news. So he, he tweeted something else after apologizing and deleted that initial tweet. And here's what he put. Sorry, guys. Got excited about the Sixers' odds and got ahead of myself, still keeping my fingers crossed for tonight. So again, Stephen A., tweeting out hours before they won the lottery that they had. What do you make of this? Well, if I'm a cynic out there, certainly I would entertain the conspiracy theorists because obviously you have people who don't believe that the process is authentic. You're always going to have those cynics that are out there. And then when you see a tweet like that coming from a tumble, it reminds me of him and those Geico commercials. I'd look at him and say, no, 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 <laughs> no. I would do that. But then in all seriousness, uh, you know, listen, it was an honest mistake. Uh, the commissioner, Adam Silver, appropriately intervened and spoke up about it because uh, the integrity in terms of, uh, of the process is incredibly important to the NBA. It always has been, always will be. And I'm a person, you know how, Skip, they talk about how you bring these writers, reporters, et cetera, they're selected, and then they come to the Hilton Hotel, and you have access to everything about an hour beforehand. Well, Molly, Skip, I would know something like that about it because I was, I was one of the people they chose to do it last year for the NBA draft. When the Knicks ended up with the fourth overall pick, I was in that room. And so we know the outcome an hour beforehand, but they take all your devices, all your information. Uh, you know, you don't have any communication with anybody outside that room for hours upon hours at a time. It's like for like two to three hours, you have no communication with anybody. You're not allowed to tweet. You're not allowed to text. You're not allowed to call. You can't do anything. They literally take your stuff so you can't tell anybody about the process that you just witnessed. It's due to be televised approximately an hour to an hour and a half later. That certainly was what the case was yesterday. Matumbo wasn't in that room. And not only that, this is a tweet that went out at about 4.29 p.m., if I remember correctly. Well, the, it aired at 8.30. The reporters knew about it at 7.30. So clearly, it was one of those situations where it was just an honest mistake. Uh, there's no reason for us to believe otherwise. Uh, and Dikembe Mutombo is, is one of the most highly, you, you know, he, he's, he's a person of incredible incredibly high integrity. Yep. He's a good man. Uh, he doesn't involve himself in any kind of nonsense. This is a serious, serious brother of the, of the highest order who, does, uh, who engages in an awful lot of philanthropy and beyond, and his name and his integrity means everything to him. And he would never have himself associated uh, with any kind of conspiracy or anything like that. That's why he was quick to say, I made a mistake, let's move on. Because what he's saying is, don't ever think that I would be a part of hoodwinking the public in any way. That is not how I conduct myself. And I'm here to tell you, as somebody who's known him for 20 years, he is absolutely right. This is a serious, serious man. And he does not play those kind of games. It was, he says it was an honest mistake. I, I can guarantee you that's exactly what it was. Guarantee. OK. I, 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 I Yeah. That's what I would say to you. Yeah, for I me know. personally. All right. For me personally. I would, vouch for his, I, I would vouch for his integrity with my career. That's how serious I am about that. I respect that. I got it. I, I'm with you. If I just step back from this, do, do I remotely believe or suspect in any way, shape, or form that the National Basketball Association would dare to rig its draft lottery, especially in this day and age with so many potential leaks? For and so Philly. Much What's that? For Philly, yeah. I said for Philly. Okay, I, I got it. But, <laughs> right. But, but seriously, the, the NBA, once upon a time, it was struggling. You know, if you go back into its dark ages, you could say, well, maybe there was a time. I have no idea. I don't, I don't have any proof of any of that. But the suspicions ran rampant back in the day. Now, d dare I say, it's, it's, it's beginning to rival the NFL in popularity. I mean, that's how successful today's NBA is. So what, what do they stand to gain by rigging their draft lottery for Philly, as you say? But point of order, it did appear that the NBA intervened in Philadelphia and did want the Colangelos involved with running the franchise, highly respected, trusted NBA figures, right? So, so that they take some of the power away from the mad scientists 
that Sam Hinkie was viewed to be at that point. Obviously, he's yeah. out. Now the Colangelo's are running the operation. Good for them. Thank God. Yeah, I got it. Yes. Okay. Now, my reaction to Dikembe is, is somewhere between amusement and, and just a little bit of suspicion only because of this. I, I get you about his integrity, but Stephen A., he still works for the National Basketball Association as a global ambassador. I assume he's paid, or at least his expenses are paid, by the league to tour the world and further the causes of the NBA in foreign countries, if not in this country. He, he's, he's a great ambassador. And how, how could he make that mistake? I just don't get it. I can't explain it in my head because he's, he's smarter than that because it's clearly said in the email we, we were privy to from the Sixers website in the event of the, us winning the lottery. So he, he said he didn't read all the way through, but Dikembe's smarter than that, surely. You know, like, like wouldn't you just say, oh, is that, this is in case of, some, in case we win well, the lottery, would you please tweet out, right? Well, sometimes it's not, a matter of, it's not a matter of intelligence, it's a matter of being preoccupied. You're multitasking, you're doing a lot of things. This guy does a lot of important things, and you get a note from the Philadelphia 76ers. You might gloss over it, congratulate us, et cetera, et cetera. A mistake like that is definitely plausible, particularly with something that he considers relatively unimportant, to be quite honest with you, with all the things that he's done. Then when you talk about him working for the NBA, look, none of us are boo-boo the fools here. I'm a Knicks fan. I, 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 you can't convince me that somehow, some way, those envelopes weren't manipulated to some degree so they could get Patrick, Patrick Ewan. Ewan. That was before the lottery balls, okay? That, I, I get all of that, which is why the lottery came into effect because you had people questioning a few things. When LeBron ended up landing in Cleveland, even though Cleveland had the most ping pong balls, you got people that were suspicious of that. I get that part. What I'm saying to you is that cynics, skeptics, etc., legitimately can sit up there and question a lot of different things, and I get that part. Where I'm coming to the defense uh, in, in all of this, don't tell me that Dikembe Mutombo would be involved in something like that. Yeah. I'm not saying that anything's impossible. I'm saying don't tell me Dikembe Mutombo, of all people, would be involved in something like that. I don't believe anything happened here. I believe the league. I believe Adam Silver. I believe a lot. I, be, I believe these guys because some guys that end up with picks, high picks. I mean, shoot, we don't care about them, the Milwaukee's of the world and others, getting a number two overall pick and stuff like that. But the flip side to it is that, again, legitimate questions are legitimate questions. I'm just saying when it comes to the Kembe Mutombo, he's not somebody that would engage in such activity. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Bottom line, can you see where some casual fans, maybe naive yes. fans or skeptical fans, yes. would say, wait a yeah. second, he works for the league and he accidentally totally. tweeted this. Okay, that, that's totally kind of where that. I was last night. But I don't believe any of this happened. I don't believe in right. any conspiracy theory. And I'm still not exactly sure how preoccupied he was or was not. But he made a big mistake, to Molly's yep. point, Coach Edwards' point. Don't hit send. <laughs> yeah, don't right? hit send. That's right. And if it's going to happen to anyone, someone with his kind of character, right? Yeah. So the Sam Broad, uh, Bradford excuse me, saga, speaking of character, has continued. After this break, we'll hear his comments on being back with the team, and a Seahawks player is calling him out. Stay tuned for those words next.